Okay, so since we're talking about artists, right? Mm -hmm. You know, over the years, you've produced many DMV hits. Many DMV, like big name DMV rappers, you know, mm -hmm. so. What was the first track that you felt really put you on the map in this area? Damn. Uh, I, I gotta say holler back. I wouldn't be a stand up man if I didn't say that. Okay. Yeah, that's Glock Boy Kari. Right, okay. That was that. I was, that was like a whole different like wave of like different shit. Like, I don't even know. I mean, I, you hear me? Niggas was just making beats, I guess. And that's what it sounded like, too, though. Niggas was just making beats. <laughs> right, right. Like I said, you definitely work with, you know, a lot of highly, you know, like, respected artists. But mm -hmm. three that I've seen you working with a lot, you know, No Savage, Mirax, mm -hmm. and also Big Flop. Mm -hmm. So how did those, like, relationships come about? Shit. Uh, Flop. That, that kind of happened. He first came home, like when he first came home, like he was on, I remember he was on Twitter heavy. And then he was like, I remember it too. He was like, I need a beat. He was like, I need a beat that's gonna make me want to kill something or some shit like that. But like, I need a crazy beat or some shit like that. So then I had DM'd him, or I think I had got his email or some shit like that. I sent the beat, ain't thinking of another. I wake up, I go to school the next day. I'm in, I'm in science class. Nigga DM me like, this you that just sent Flock this beat? I'm like, I think so. <laughs> you know me? And then like he like, oh yeah, he just fucked that joint up, and he just gave you a new tag on that joint. I'm like, kid, all right, time go on. He do a little trailer to the joint, posted on his page. I'm like, okay, kill. Uh, it was it was Slap. It was a song called Slap. No, he did a trailer to that joint. And he ended up dropping it. And then from then I just kept like I kept sending them beats, kept sending them beats. And then one day, like I kept emailing them too. Like this is all like I'm just sending it over. But like every day I'm going to school, coming home, making beats, sending them to bro. You know what I mean? And then like I think he DM me on Twitter, he like, uh, I need your number, this DM shit, or, like the email shit ain't about to work. You know hear I me? Mean? So that was when from then that's when Shit really started getting heavy. Like it was constant workflow. But like the past year, year and a half, shit been up. Like me and Flop been making some of the craziest shit. <laughs> I'm hip, man. Like Doodle Bob and that yeah. song, that was a hit right there. Nah, for real. That was that was his idea the whole time. He had the um, he had the uh, song. He had the song in his head. Um what was it? I think he sent me the clip. Yeah, he sent me a clip of, it was somebody. Like there was, uh, I don't know if it was the same person that made the song or not, but it was like, uh, they was freestyling it basically like banging on the table. And uh, it's a real song too. I can't remember the name of it right now, but he sent that to me like how he normally do. He always sending me like little Instagram memes or shit to sample. So like, I ain't thinking nothing of it. Like I chopped the sample up. I sent it. Uh, I sent it over to uh, Snare Jordan. You hear me? Piano player, great. You hear me? Like that. He had put the keys down, sent it back over, and then I finished the beat. And like all, and all this time, like everybody already making their way to the stew. I'm still at home. Everybody like, where the fuck you at? <laughs> everybody like, where the fuck you at? I'm at home making the beat. So then I get there, play that joint instantly. Like we already knew what was going on. He went in there, dogged it. <laughs> Man, the rest is history. No, nah, for real. One of them ones, shit. Savage, that started. That really started because of Double R. Like, he, he had the first song with Savage. It was a, uh, it was an unreleased song. It never even came out. The most he did too was like something on Instagram. But, uh, that drum was cranking. Like, it was cranking. Everybody knew about it though. Like, everybody heard the song. Like, it was one of them ones. Okay. So then I'm like, oh yeah. So then I sent him a beat and then bro emailed me back. He like, we locked in. Like, I'm like, okay. So then we keep sending beats, but then like it was shits going on. Like, and then he did Hood Legend, or oh, you hear me is this. You hear me? The streets may know it is geek to get busy. You hear mm -hmm. me? 
that was the first song, like the very first song. I'm like, okay, I'm fucking with bro. And then I think Blue Guys came like smack after that. Yeah, Blue Guys. And then that was like, after them two, it was like real loud, pumping them out. <laughs> and then shit, Racks, that just naturally happened. Like, I was some middle school shit I had already known, Racks. And then like, I started making beats, he started rapping. And like, ever since he started rapping, like me and him, Jack, like was already tapped in. Like, cause he knew I was making beats and he was rapping. And niggas Jack already knew each other, but it wasn't never no real like songs done. And then Shawty started to go up and then I started to go up. So then like made a beat, send it. And then that's how we got Risk. That's the first song. And that was one of them ones. And then, Shit was up from there too. I was not. Nah, I was a. Was that in the same timeline? Is that around that time? I think Risk didn't Risk come out like late twenty twenty. Think so. I'm not sure. I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Something like that though. Shit, I remember shit went up more after that though. Like motion. As you just said, Risk definitely changed a lot. You know, like I said, that was my first time actually listening to Mirror Racks. Still one of my favorite songs to this mm -hmm. day. You know, and earlier this year, it just touched a million views on YouTube. So mm -hmm. first, like, take us through that whole day that you, like, made that beat. And then also, <laughs> did you think that it would blow up like that? Nah, I, I ain't keep it a bean. I ain't think, damn sure not that beat. You know what I mean? Like, the song, Crank. I did not fuck with that beat at all. Like, that's real deal, one of them seven-minute beats, DC. You hear me? That's real deal, one of them seven-minute beat. Like... That shit was nothing. I'm just clicking shit, uh, doing anything, sending it, sent it off the bar. Like I'm just sending them beats at the time. And then he, uh, I think he sent, nah, he did that a couple times actually. He did a version, he recorded himself. Niggas ain't even, damn, I ain't even got it on that phone, bro. Like he did a version himself. Like he recorded it at home on that beat, sent it to me to mix, but like it, it still wasn't doing nothing. So then he ended up going to the stew, actually doing it. That's when he shot the video, went up. That was one of them ones, so. Yeah, that's definitely one of the ones. Like I said, <laughs> I, I still play that to this day. Oh, for real. <laughs> <laughs>